Okay guys, this is part two of the Aldi Christmas food catalogue, okay? Right. Now I'm going to show you the dessert page, okay? This is what they call a pa pavlova stack. It consists of raspberry and white chocolate stack, which is meringue filled with raspberry sauce and white chocolate cream, hand finished with raspberries and white chocolate shavings. Okay? And this one they call Bushy. I can't pronounce these words, so they may be pronounced wrongly. Okay, that may be pronounced wrong, I don't know how you pronounce it. Traditional hand finished French style bush or bouchy. Choose from silicon lemon mousse with heritage raspberries and pistachios or rich Belgian chocolate mousse with a salted caramel centre and toffee pieces. This is a chocolate orange bombi. This is a Belgian chocolate Yule log. When they say Yule log, it means Christmas, okay? Yule means a sort of Christmas in simple terms, okay? This is, and it's basically what we would call a sort of Swiss roll, if you like, with, um, chocolate poured on it so I'll tell you what they say high roll hand rolled Belgian chocolate sponge yule log filled with a creamy chocolate ganache and covered in a thick layer of chocolate finished with milk chocolate shavings white chocolate stars and a luxurious gold shimmer dusting and that's um that okay and the one below is what they call roulade which they say is a cream filled Christmas roulade um, decorated by <laughs> and it says choose from toffee and pecan or winterberry this is um, a spiced winterberry cheesecake um, it's, a, it's basically a cheesecake on a sweet, on a sweet sorry, biscuit crumb base decorated with glittering stars and winterberry compote now i'm baffled by this okay here it's got luxury ice cream and here it's got some ice cream cones now i'm baffled by this because i wouldn't think you people would actually eat ice cream in december because it's usually quite cold here Right, not like the so not like in Russia or anywhere like that, but it's not very warm. Okay, so I wouldn't think many people are actually going to eat ice cream, but they might. If they are going to do it, they might do it in this, as a sorbet like that. If they're going to have any, but I'd be very surprised if they have any cones. But I could be wrong. I just think it's the wrong time of year for it. But these are the kind of ice creams people have over here. Okay, and this one is um, they're called mini cones. And they've got mint chocolate, strawberry, or chocolate hazelnut, okay? And those are the three flavours on offer, okay? You can see it's them and get the idea, okay? Right, still a lot of pages to go through, so I'll probably speed some of this up. And these are various cheeses you can buy. I mean, essentially, cheese is cheese, you know. Um, some of them are packs. For example, I've got what they call a British selection pack here, which consists of 
West Country Brie. Um, I thought Brie was French, but never mind. Belvoir Blue, Red Leicester, Wensleydale with cranberry and orange, and West Country Cheddar Cheese. Okay. Then we've got Camembert. Brie, which is French, traditionally. Um, and what fixes? Um, oh, it's, these are various um, selection packs. Okay, so I'm not going to go into what every single pack has, but um, they include things like different packs have things like double Gloucester, onion and chives with onion and chives, um, Wednesday Dale with cranberries, Isle of Man cheddar cheese, um, Isle of Man red Leicester and hot wax cheddar, you've also got um, French brie, in um, this one, um, blue Stilton, red Le um, Wednesday Dale and cranberry, yeah so I've already mentioned that one. Um, Yeah, so you get this sort of idea, right? And here it's got a bottle of um, port you can buy for to go with the um, cheese, apparently. And they're talking about being 40 years old. I think it's also on another page later, so I could have waited until I got to the other page. Here, it's the mince pie page. Mince pies are generally only sold at Christmas time over here, generally, okay? And lots of people eat them around Christmas time, okay? And so you've got the different types of um, styles of um, mince pie, okay? Many mince pies now are also suitable for vegetarians, okay? I'm not an expert of what it's, it's called minced meat, but I think some of it is vegetarian. I'm not an expert on what minced meat actually it consists of, I just eat it, okay? Um, but, they've got things like what they call deep filled mince pies, mini mince pies. Um, these have got things like caramel, in the, pa in caramel, in, in pastry, in the pastry. Or black forest in a chocolate pastry. Pa Why chocolate pastry? And then okay. Um, these have got various vine fruits and figs and dates. Um, this has got almonds. This one's got some some al some amaretto amaretto liqueur, which means it will be alcoholic. Um, these are some what they call Florentines. I would say they're like biscuits or something to me. Um, and here you've got various biscuit packs. It shows you the um, pretty containers that you can get. But and they have biscuits in them. Um, One of them says a musical biscuit tin. A musical tin filled with chocolate chip cookies. So I, I'm assuming, um, I don't know, I'm guessing it will play a song. I, I'm guessing that it will play a song. I don't know though, right? Here is various sort of, um, what I think are sort of fruit cakes or things like that. Other sorts of cakes for Christmas. This one um, says it's um, this one says it is a luxury pan 
panetta made with a 40 year old mother dough so 40 year old dough guys they're actually bragging about the fact that you're going to eat something that's 40 years old okay and a subtle Prosetto dock from the oh it doesn't mean a lot to me it's on a waffle I don't understand um, this is some sort of Italian um, cake this is some another some some sort of Italian thing and This is a stolen filled with Jamaican rum and which is alcoholic and marzipan raisins and glazed cherry halves. This is a Yule log, I think I showed you one earlier. Okay. And it's basically what you would call a chop. This one's basically a sort of chocolate Swiss roll with a layer of um, chocolate with, with a chocolate covering, and made and also with some icing on, and then something to make it look pretty. The green thing, which I don't think you eat, to make it look pretty. Okay. Um, I think that's a plastic thing you take off that just looks pretty, if I'm right. Um, this thing which looks very pretty indeed um, says that it is a white gingerbread chocolate bauble um, so it looks like some sort of white chocolate thing with um, other things inside it And so it's got it says caramelized carrot, hazelnut, pistachio, and raspberry um, thing inside. So there you go. Um, and it says. Um, it says um, cranberry and hazelnut filling and it also provides you as well as part of the pack um, 12 hand decorated chocolates okay these are like some small cakes and you buy it as a pack buy them as a pack and So it says fruit and nuts in these um, small mini cakes, which buys a pack. Nine fruit cakes as part of a pack. And you notice they've got pretty little decorations on, like I think this might be edible. This one might be edible, okay. Um, so you've got like a, a Chris, like what looks like the shape of a Christmas tree. And this looks like the shape of a leaf. And often leaves like this are associated with Christmas, like holly and things. Um, over here, this is another page of, um, they call them Christmas treats, I think these are like chocolates, I think, I think these are, look like chocolates, and this is a special, um, what they call, um, a, a chocolate nutcracker. So it's basically meant to look like a sort of man. It's a chocolate. All of this is a sort of chocolate type um, food, which you is in the shape of a um, sort of man or some sort of character called a nutcracker. Bring Christmas with this nutcracker made from fair from. Um, So it says it's all hand decorated, okay? So it's done all entirely by people, okay? And all of that would be edible, okay? All of this 
of this, sorry, that, that, all of that would be edible, all of it, okay? Then you've got um, an iced cake here, which has sultanas, raisins, cherries and almonds, and um, brandy, which is alcoholic, um, and white icing and marzipan, okay? So that's um, an iced cake. This has is some um, nuts, so you can buy a packet of nuts. And these are various chocolates, okay? I won't, you know, you can see what they look like, okay? They are what they are. Some of them have got white chocolate, some of them have got milk chocolate, some of them have got dark chocolate, okay? A dark chocolate, okay? I think you get the idea, so I won't really tell you the obvious, okay? Right. On the next page, it says um, party spreads, and I think this is mostly um, things like ham and some cheese and some pork pies and things. So this is a bit of a mixture, okay? Okay, and um, it consists of things like um, a ham joint, um, bread with cam camembert, um, I'm trying to look at all the numbers, where's all the numbers gone? Yeah, there's the cheese, and some, yeah, that's a chutney jar. Okay, so that's chutney, which is like a sort of pickle. Um, here we've got, they call it Italian, misto platter. And this is, and these are pate cakes, which look like they've got a bit of a slice of orange on them. Again, Chipozu wrapped in panzetta these are sort of pigs in blankets um which i mentioned in part one um spanish charcuterie um pork pie pork pie is a very popular in britain okay and again spanish tapas platter which again looks like a bit like pigs in blankets again it may not be but it's the same kind of idea here i think okay but i'm not sure what they actually cause it's, um So, unless they put um, the, bl the bacon round, or whatever type it's called, for the Spanish version, round some cheese, I don't know. And here it's got what they call a proscuito, I can't pronounce any of these fancy words I'm afraid, proscuito platter. Okay. Here again, it's got salmon. What that has to do with Christmas, I have absolutely no idea. But there you go. Various other food, and it contains things like salmon, king prawns, um, scallops. Um, oh no, that's just advice. Um, so this is salmon with gin poured on, and it's been professionally poured on, onto it already. Um, this is a, what they call a salmon side. It looks like a sort of pie, I think. And this is a salmon and goat's cheese quiche. On the next page, they've got what they call party food. And 
Now these would be snacks that might be handed out at parties and things like that. And they say, I'm trying to use their words. Again, some words I can't even pronounce, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which is embarrassing, but I honestly don't know a lot of these. Um, partly because it's a German supermarket, branded supermarket, okay. Um, so this is called Dim Sun, apparently. Um, this is Mushroom Aransi. Um, these, where's four gone? I call these lollipops, but I've no idea why. I've never heard of lollipops being mentioned in that way before. Um, these are pork belly bites, and they're on, and it's got some sticks you can use to put into the meat to hand out. These are king put that's what they call a king prawn selection and this is what they call mint some bears mini pies. This is uh, mini beef wellingtons. Yeah, so it's basically beef in a pastry. Um, they call these mini soldiers. And it says me they're Mexican sliders are made of pork, um, red pepper, tomato relish, or and no, it's also got cheeseburgers. Um, I think people know what a cheeseburger is. Yeah, it's like what you have in McDonald's, you know. Um, and this is what they call soufflette roulette. And it's made of cheese. And it with and it's got cheese and onion and cheese and chilli. Um, It says these are chicken skewers. Um, that's that's that. And again, various food here. It says these are vegan cauliflower bites. Um, ones of them is prawns. That's that. These are the prawns. It says tempura prawns. And this says vegan cocktail sausage rolls. So it's sausage. Ro so it's. I mean that sounds to me like oh no so they would be like vegan sausage so they're meant to taste like um, pork sausage probably I'm guessing but they're not but they don't I'm guessing because I don't know okay so it's for those people who um, love animals okay on the next section we've got various wines okay I'm too lazy to describe all the different wines wine is it is what it is usually there's red or white white is clear essentially and red is obviously um, reddish in colour okay um, I'm too lazy to go through what they are again on the next page more wines again I'm too lazy truthfully to tell you about all the different wines you get the idea um, even more wines <laughs> and more alcoholic drinks um, this one is um, gin liqueur this one is whiskey liqueur. They call it gumpal whiskey liqueur. Huh? Um, 
this is another gin they call this um, caramel and hazelnut cream I do not understand it at all I don't know what you get with this um, next page um, yet more alcoholic drinks as you can probably tell people people in Britain like to get drunk a lot at Christmas okay um, so again rum various rums um, here they provided some it looks like this it looks like they provided some nuts which so for those people who don't like to drink <laughs> that's my joke you probably have them with the drink um this is a 25 year old whiskey yes you actually buy it as 25 year old whiskey um that's 12 year old irish whiskey um other whiskies um this is lager um and various cans of alcoholic drinks generally cider or basically ale um, next page more alcoholic drinks and here you've got things like um, 40 year old port these are all some these are all port um, here on this page you've got um the Christmas hampers okay on this page now what is a hamper for those of you who don't know okay it's basically a sort of basket with food in it but it's been professionally provided okay so you would so you buy like a basket this special basket woven basket with uh, an assortment of food already in the basket okay and often sometimes people buy them as a gift for people okay and they're about these the ones i've got here are range from about um 25 pound to 100 pound okay um and they've got lots of different things in they've often got things like bottles of drinks some chocolates and um, some cakes and um, biscuits and various other things that you'll get in the hamper okay um, So that's the idea, okay? And so, for example, there where you see the woven basket, um, you would genuinely get that. You would genuinely get that, okay? Right, let's see, let's look on the next page. Um, right, it's coming very near to the end now. Here it's got some flowers you can buy what flowers have got to do with Christmas I have no idea but there you go um, They say this is festive foliage, so that's perhaps the nearest you'll get to Christmassy type things. I haven't seen a Christmas tree though, surprisingly. Um, maybe they have and I've missed it, but I didn't see a Christmas tree, okay? And I'm surprised they don't do that. Um, I'm going to have a look a minute. Mm. Well, it's not food though, that's one. But I'm su still surprised if it can do flowers. Um... Okay.
And these are what they call some special buys that I think they have around Christmas time for people to buy. I think these are like toys and things, okay? But I know that has nothing to do with food, okay? Oh, they do have them. Right, it's on the back. My apologies, they do genuinely have a Christmas tree. So, you can buy a real fur Christmas tree from them. Okay, I don't know how big it is. Um, all it says is medium, it doesn't give you a size. But that is an actual Christmas tree you can buy from them. Okay, it costs about £20, it's a real one. And um, But what do I mean by a real one? Well, for those of you who don't know about Christmas, okay, um, you can buy either a real Christmas tree, which, a real fir tree, which we call Christmas trees, okay, in which case you have to water it, and it's got, needs soil, and things like that, okay. But what a lot of people do is they buy a plastic uh, Christmas tree instead, so that they can put it away at the end of the year, and just get it out there again the next year. Most people probably have a plastic use plastic um, Christmas trees, you know, f fake cr trees if you like, okay? But this is a real one, which needs watering, okay? Um, and also you can buy the lights, because often you put you decorate the tree, and you put these various, what they call baubles on, on them, you just sit there, so you put those on your tree, and you put ornaments on the tree, and you also um, put lighting on the tree, okay, to light the tree up, okay? And that's normally how most people um, celebrate Christmas with, regarding the trees, okay? They often put lighting on it and baubles and, um, you know, ornaments, you know, min miniature ornaments, especially for trees, like, you know, I don't know, ornaments of Santa and, um, you know, snowmen and things like that, okay? So anyway, guys, this is um this is an Aldi um this is the Aldi Christmas catalog okay and this is the end of part two okay so thanks for watching guys hope you found it interesting I'm aware many from the West and perhaps America won't be interested in this because they it's probably too similar to what they already have but perhaps people from other regions may find it interesting okay Thanks for watching guys, bye!